All right, what's up folks? So it's a Sunday morning and I had to do a little bit of work um, on the computer and it got me kind of thinking about the decisions that I make. So I do love dogs. I love dogs a whole lot and I enjoy spending time with them. I enjoy what they do. Um, but there's some challenges that come along with this. So you think, yeah, I could probably do that. And it sounds like um, it's possible. It sounds like it's possible to do some of this stuff and like keep up with the dogs, but it's really, really challenging. And sometimes like you're fine. Like sometimes you can match their level of need um, and it's no problem. But then there's sometimes that it's like, hey, just because you don't have the time to do it doesn't mean that they don't need it. And that has been a huge challenge, huge challenge for me. Um, you know, I work a normal job. I'm not a dog trainer. Uh, I work, I don't know, 10 to 10 to 12 hours a day, something like that. I'm gone from the house. When I come home, I have a two-year-old daughter, so I want to spend some time with her. Um, and by the time the dogs get some attention, it's a little too late. And they've started doing some either destructive habits or destructive things, um, or they just become a nuisance because I haven't given them the stimulation they need. So I'm not saying this or making this video to um, say that I'm going to get rid of the dogs or anything like that. I just want to let you know the level of commitment that's needed when you have some high energy dogs. Um, mainly this girl right here. She is my challenging one as far as the energy level goes. She requires a ton, a ton, ton of energy. And you can't just exercise her because she doesn't care how much exercise she gets. She will just keep on going. We can go for a long bike ride and then she can come back to the house and jump in the pool and then she's ready to go. She's grabbing a ball and at my face. So you have to do a lot of mental stimulation with her in order her, for her to be uh, fulfilled for the day. And if you don't, she will do stuff that just makes you annoyed. Um, for instance, she likes to jump the fence. This is a six foot fence. That is an electric line at the top of my fence. I had to put an electric line at the top and bottom of my fences because she was jumping the fence and saying hi to people walking their dogs out on the street. Um, so yeah, there's a whole lot of energy and time that goes into not just her, but like containing her and keeping her satisfied. Uh, that's that's pretty hard hard to do sometimes and it's not her fault for doing stuff and taking my daughter's toys and chewing them up um, It's really it's my fault for not being able to fulfill her needs So think about that when you're getting a dog It's not realistic to think that you're gonna have a normal job and be able to um, Hang out with the family and also be able to give her what she needs just because the level of commitment they need now on the other hand, so that one is the kind of difficult one for me. On the other hand, I got this guy right here. This guy, Chief Dog. So Chief Dog is a fairly easy dog, right? He can hang out and relax. He can do a little bit of running around and be rambunctious. But for the most time, for the most part, he's pretty uh, stable. And he just kind of hangs out. Um, he is a classic guardian dog. He will hang out in the backyard and not try to get out. And if somebody is at the fence, he will let them know that he's here, but he's not gonna jump through the fence to go get him. So that is um, kind of nice about him. The challenging part for him is that he's kind of moody. He's a little temperamental. Um, and just, just due to his sheer size, you can't give him an opportunity to make a mistake because we do have some smaller dogs or we do have people that come over and if you allow him to make a small mistake, it could be devastating. So um, being able to read his body language and kind of see where he's at mentally um, at, at any point, just through kind of knowing your dog, um, that is something that can put you on edge. And I know that sometimes when we have large gatherings, um, I'll just put him up and just be like, hey, he's pretty friendly for the most part with people. Um, but I just put him up because I don't want to have to worry about it. Now Izzy, she could be out with anybody and all she wants people to do is throw the dang ball. 
Um, so they're just different. It's a different dynamic for each dog and just know the level of commitment that you have to invest in this is really high. Cause even though chief seems like easy, um, there's still a high level of stress that goes into the day to day or not necessarily the day to day, but whenever people come over or there's a lot of new things happening, you got to make sure that if somebody doesn't step on them wrong or um, maybe a dog comes up and he's sleeping and walks right into his face, you know, like he just will pop off um, and he just, it's not a uh, mauling. He's not going to attack them and kill them, um, but he potentially could with just one of his little warning bites. So it's some of the, uh, some of the challenging parts of having dogs like this. And I say that because I'm working on my laptop um, on a Sunday morning and I'm saying, man, these dogs, I can just hear them running amok. And I'm like, I got to get out there and work them. And it's tough. It's tough. But they're fantastic. They're fun. Really cool. Just know that it doesn't go away whenever you're busy. It's still there. Just some words that I figured I would share. I know that we all see these dogs online. I was one of those guys. See the dogs online. See how cool they are. Um, kind of see see some of the tricks or some of the end results and we think that we're going to be able to get that um, whenever we just get one of these dogs it's just going to come with with all of that but that's not the case there's a lot of work and dedication and time that goes into it so that can be challenging um, yeah hope that you learned something from it or picked up a little bit more insight as to how it can be living with these dogs Yeah, my daughter has a lot of chewed up toys and sometimes I get in trouble for that. So enjoy, thanks, bye.